Okay. So I have um, a check to make sure that a text box has content um, set up here. So it's going to check if the, the value is not nothing. Um, then it's going to return true and erase any error messages that were recorded previously. If it um, doesn't have anything, it's going to put field required. So if I show you what that looks like right now, here's what it looks like. If I'm in this thing and I go away, it tells me it's required. If I put something in there, it erases the message. Um, so on my form, I have this student ID field. Um, then that could use a little bit more validation. It could use a, a check of the length. Um, And so I'm going to check if this guy's value, when I trim on these weird spaces off, um, if it has a length that's six, that's what I want. So I'm gonna have it return true. Um, otherwise return false. And I'm gonna put my error messages in here in kind of the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I'm gonna give this guy I so he has it to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And this is my bad message. Oops, my spacing is getting messed up. Okay. So I'm going to say this has to have must be six digits. Um, otherwise, I'll erase the message if it's okay. Okay. And I'm going to add this check in to my call here. So I'm going to say um, if the box has content and... I'm actually on my student ID because I don't need to enforce this rule in all my boxes. So my student ID is my second field. That means it's when the I in my index, um, in my for loop is at one, it'll be the student ID. So let's see, let's only check this. If the I is one, then I'm going to call um, ID length. Let's see if that works. Okay. So blank still gives me that field required. If I put something in here, then it's not six digits, so that's three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should clear it out. Now you'll notice it's accepting letters. So perhaps that is another thing that I'd like to check. Um, there is a function in JavaScript that is um, called isNan. So I'm going to have it um, make sure that this is a number. Um, numeric. Let's give it this stuff again. And here's what I'm going to look for. If so, I want to examine um, the box. Oops, lost my box value again. I'm going to clean it. Um, I want to see. Thanks, Alexa, for chiming in. I'm randomly unmuting my television. What the heck is happening here? Rise of the machines. All right. Um, so I'm going to say, if this guy is not a number, then that is a problem. And so I will tell it that's not good. And this thing will record that message. Must be... Okay, otherwise I'm going to erase my error message, oops, and return true. Okay. So now I'm going to call that guy. If this thing passes its test, great, then I will call this guy is numeric box. I, and I don't actually have to do anything with the returned value, but let's see if it works. Okay. Field required still there. One, two, three. Length check. Oops, right, it's this guy. One, two, three. Too short. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right length, but not numbers. Must be numeric. Let's see if we can set aside this. Bam, no errors. So I've got a, more validation happening on this middle box.